Hello, everybody. Frank Kenny here. Just wanted to do, uh, do a quick little run through of what we have for you in the 2019 Chamber Pros Online Conference. I'm going to do a little screen share here. Let's see, screen share. The tool I'm using, by the way, is called Blue Jeans. It's a very inexpensive uh, sharing application where you can uh, really just do uh, interviews and presentations and things of that nature. Uh, Norma's telling me to smile here. She's my producer. If you guys don't have a producer, you definitely need one. So hopefully you're seeing my desktop, my screen share. Uh, Norma, can you confirm that they're seeing the desktop screen share? Awesome. I would love to know who's watching this, where you're watching it from, what chamber you're with, and uh, this will be an interactive kind of uh, presentation. So if you have questions, uh, Norma's monitoring this, and then she'll feed me the questions, or maybe somebody else will answer the questions, or I'll answer the questions. And uh, just uh, this is informational. I want you to know what this is all about and why, why we brought you the presentations we did and who's doing the presentations. So this is the registration page for this year's online conference. Uh, we believe that you are just one idea away from whatever it is that is really important to you. And that is, you know, whether it's member engagement or retention or uh, membership sales, board development. You know, we do surveys. We just did a survey, and we asked the industry, what do you want to know more about? Because our job is to bring you resources. Our job is to bring you value. And we got a couple hundred responses from Chambers, and we took the top ones. We had probably 30 responses, and we took the top ones, and it turned out to be 16 top things you wanted to know about. And again, it was member engagement, retention, how to attract and retain members, non-dues revenue, programs, projects, and services. So it was a real big one. People want to know what's trending, what's new, how can we make money from offering specific programs and services. So, so we, we reached out to like, the people that were the experts at each of those topics, the, the very best people. And the vast majority of the time, they said, we would love to. And uh, some people were too busy. Some people had some kind of conflict and this sort of stuff. So you're not going to see all the top dogs uh, in the chamber industry, all the consultants and all the uh, IOM instructors, of course. Uh, we only have room for 16, and not everybody could do it. But the ones that said yes – Excellent, excellent, excellent presenters and great information. So let me start. I'll run through this. Right now we're in the early, super early bird uh, discount. at 60% off. You save 300 bucks, and you just have a few days left to register. But let me go through the presenters here. Our first one I want to talk about is Sarah Sladek. Uh, you probably have read, and if you haven't, you should, the end of membership as we know it. She is uh, a speaker. She's got four books, a brand new book. She's a best-selling author. A couple of her books are uh, bestsellers in the chamber and association world for ASAE. If you don't know who ASAE is, it's got 20,000 members. They're the association professional group. And two of her books are bestsellers for them. Anyway, I reached out to Sarah, and she said, love to do it. Uh, she's got a chamber background. She started in the chamber industry. Uh, and now she's one of the biggest names out there in the association world. And so uh, if you haven't seen Sarah, Sarah speak, uh, she's spoken at WACE's conference. Uh, I've seen her in uh, two or three conferences over the years, been friends with her for a long, long time. So there's Sarah Sladek. If you're familiar with her, please comment in the, in the comments that you have read the book or you know who she is or uh, whatever you want to say about her. But she's going to be talking about Generation Z. You know, everybody's been talking about the millennials. Well, Generation Z is very, very important, and they're coming up fast. And if uh, your chamber can't reach millennials and Generation Z and get them to join, well, your chamber is going to be in a world of hurt as the baby boomers retire. And us Xers are too small of a generation to, sub, sub, uh, to keep your chamber alive. So let's go to the next one. I'm going to rush through this a little bit. We only have about 15 minutes uh, before we have to be on the road here. So uh, Justin Patton, you may have seen that Justin just released a brand new book. Uh, it went number one on Amazon for its category. And uh, Justin is a speaker, is an IOM instructor. He has spoken at uh, the Western Association of Chamber Execs. I saw him on stage, I think, last year for that. Uh, great presence online. And uh, he is an executive leadership coach. And Justin is really, really highly rated uh, for IOM. People just love his classes at IOM. 
and uh, his presentation in this is about purpose and the road to engagement. And it's about feeling uh, like you are living your purpose at your chamber and how if you are living your purpose at your chamber, you will help your members uh, live their purpose. And it's just a really good presentation. His uh, has a, a, a kind of like a, it's a workshop. You actually go through some things with him. He stops, lets you fill out some paperwork, uh, and then comes back and says, all right, now that you have that, let's do this. And then he stops. And, you know, at the end of this, you have change. You are you living your purpose. You will understand what your purpose is. So that's Justin Patton, uh, excellent, excellent presenter. Uh, next up is Kathy Height. You probably know who Kathy Height is. She's uh, the tippy top of the chamber consultants. Uh, if if anybody has a complicated situation, uh, almost all of us turn to Kathy Height and say, "All right, Kathy, what do you think about this?" Uh, she's just uh, an amazing, amazing consultant, huge chamber background, association background, and Kathy Height. Uh, every time you ask Kathy Height for something, she will default to saying yes because she loves to help, loves to serve. And uh, Kathy's presentation is on retention. Kathy is the retention specialist in the chamber industry, if you're not familiar with Kathy. And uh, she has spoken at probably all the state chamber conferences. I doubt there's a single one in the nation or even in Canada that she hasn't spoken at. She is that uh, beloved in the industry. And uh, anyway, if you're working on retention at your chamber, if you want to increase your retention rate, there's nobody that's better at that than Kathy Height. So we asked Kathy, and she said love to. So thank you, Kathy. Uh, next one is Tony Russell. You might not be familiar with Tony Russell because he's not really a chamber person. He is a membership marketing expert. He deals with the bigger associations or just the association world. Uh, but, you know, the chambers are membership organizations. And uh, his 30 years of helping associations grow just exactly applies to the chamber industry. And he's... Uh, it was amazing to me when I reached out to him because this, this guy's is about as big as you get in the association world. They do the, the membership benchmarking report that they've done for 10 years that they give away. It's like 70 pages of membership numbers and how to do sales and how to get retention and why people join and why people drop. And uh, you want to look that up from Marketing General Incorporated. If you haven't downloaded that freebie, it's a must, must have. And um, – I reached out to Tony and I said, hey, Tony, I, uh, you've been on my Chamber Focus show. Would you come on and do this uh, 2019 Chamber Pros online conference? And he said, well, I'm super, super busy and I don't have anything ready, but uh, if you really want me to, I will. And I begged him and he said yes. So anyway, his presentation is Diagnosing and Solving Your Membership Marketing Challenges. And he goes through a lot of data to start with to kind of uh, give you a, a background on where your membership business, your chamber, should be with selling and retaining and prospecting and getting back members. Uh, and they have a membership life cycle that he explains. And then he went into tips. And if you've watched the videos for the online conference here, he was our first presenter, and he gave those seven tips for getting the membership sale now, today, not next week, and not uh, never, getting it now. So Tony's uh, presentation is excellent, 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 excellent. The whole conference is worth, you know, it's only $199 right now for 16 presentations, so that's $12.50 a presentation or something. The whole $199 uh, would be what I would pay to see Tony's presentation. It's that good, that meaty. Uh, next, we have Clear Louder. Clear, if you don't know, has been in the chamber and association world uh, for three decades, I think. Harvard graduate, uh, major uh, East Coast presence. I think everybody on the East Coast of the United States probably knows Claire. She's done, uh, she's worked in multiple chambers, state associations. Uh, she's now doing consulting uh, uh, kind of on a limited basis, I think. You have to reach out to Claire, and, and she's She's so busy and in demand that she can't just take on anybody. Uh, you have to kind of apply to work with Claire. Uh, but uh, she runs now president. Uh, she's the Louder Nonprofit Strategies. And she talked about board development, board orientations, having a healthy board of directors. Her presentation is uh, Save Your Job, Governance Tips That Work. And the idea is that if you have a great board, uh, your life is great. Uh, but as soon as you don't have a great board, uh, your life goes south really quickly. Even just one bad board member can send your whole life south very, very quickly. Uh, and so she gives just a lifetime of value and 
insights on what uh, she has learned and what she teaches when she speaks at conferences. She's an institute instructor and uh, very, very nice and clear to uh, offer to come on uh, this conference. Uh, the next person is Anissa Starnes, uh, Anissa Starnes. If you don't know Anissa, um, uh, you probably know Anissa because in the chamber business, it's hard not to know Anissa. She speaks at the conferences. She's been an IOM instructor. She's been an IOM sponsor because uh, she used to run the uh, the, uh, the uh, participation or the uh, the program of Constant Contact that uh, has 4,000 chambers use Constant Contact as part of the uh, partner group with with Constant Contact, the chambers and them, and she runs that. She ran that, uh, but now she's out on her own as a consultant and um, primarily helps chambers fill uh, job openings. Uh, so if you want to move up in the chamber industry or if you're looking for uh, just new scenery. Uh, Anissa is a person that you want to know, or if your chamber has an opening and you're trying to fill it with the best person possible, uh, Anissa is somebody you want to know. Uh, she will help you with that. Her presentation is 10 pieces of advice to move your career forward because she looks at a lot of resumes and she knows who's hiring in the chamber industry and they hire her to find the best possible people uh, to hire. And um, she will be somebody that can help you uh, move up in your career. And her advice, uh, the 10 pieces of advice that she gives uh, are just uh, life-changing for anybody that wants to build a career in the chamber industry. And she's uh, one of her 10, uh, it, she just totally opens up on mistakes that she personally has made in her life moving up in the chamber industry. Because she was with four chambers, major metros and consultant and all these kind of diff different things. And she's just very, very brutally honest about uh, how you grow in this industry and what things that she would do differently. Uh, and again, I'd love to know who you are that's watching this, where you're watching this from, what chamber you're with, if you've registered already for the online conference. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them as I go here, or you could just message me or uh, just post it in the group and we'll get to the comments eventually here. But uh, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm kind of on a limited time, so I'm going fast. Uh, next up is uh, Chris Romer. Chris, uh, Chris's chamber, the Vail Valley Partnership is amazing, amazing. They were recognized as Chamber of the Year for all the United States for their category in uh, just a couple of years ago. Uh, Chris brings programs and projects and services to his community that are based upon uh, surveys and data and listening to the members and finding out what they could do to solve problems for their members. And uh, he has multiple six-figure uh, non-dues revenue sources because he uh, just figures out what the members want and delivers it. And their chamber is amazing uh, at bringing programs and projects and services that solve specific problems. Uh, chamber Master just recognized their chamber in the innovation contest out of uh, hundreds, I think several hundred chambers applied uh, and the chamber that won, uh, Chris Romers. So if you wanna know what's working in the chamber world today uh, as a problem solver, and uh, you know programs that'll help build community. Uh, this is the the presentation to watch: chamber programming to meet community needs. Uh, and again, that whole this whole thing is worth uh, the investment is just to see what Chris is doing there because you will get blown away at how much money he's bringing in uh, by offering the members and the community amazing products and services. You know, win win. Uh, the next is Beth, Br Beth Bridges. Uh, Beth was the uh, membership and networking person for the Clovis Chamber in Cal California for 11 years. And uh, she was nationally known. She spoke at conferences. And then she stepped out on her own to be a consultant. She's wrote, wrote a book. It's a bestseller uh, on networking. She speaks now all over the country uh, at you know, helping chambers and other groups with their networking events. She is kind of like the go-to person in the chamber industry on what works for networking. So if you want to know anything about uh, networking events or how to bring in non-dues revenue from networking events or what your members are looking for from the networking events, uh, she is a wealth, wealth of information. So this is Beth Bridges, the networking motivator, and her presentation is how to engage your networking hard cases. And uh, I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, we're gonna record Beth here any day now. Uh, but I, I have recorded her on lots of other presentations and been on the stage with her events and things of that nature. And she always brings amazing value. So that's Beth Bridges. 
Uh, next is Deming Bass. You know, Deming used to work for Constant Contact as one of the regional guys, you know, worked under Anissa. Uh, and then it turns out that Deming has all these other interests and talents. And uh, now what he did, he's self-employed. He's helping Chambers with uh, a few different things. He was hired after Constant Contact by Google, and now he does these Google workshops all over the country that are getting rave reviews. And I've had him on the Chamber Focus show, and he talked about Google's uh, various um, uh, the search features of Google and the ratings and review features of Google and things of that nature. So he has that whole talent and knowledge there that's like a cyclopedic. But when I asked him to do this, it was about the story brand that he also is incredibly knowledgeable about. And this is about Chamber websites and then how Chamber websites have to tell a story. And he goes into, you know, what stories are and how your website has to pass a grunt test and the things that your website, your Chamber website should have. And they're very specific things and they need to be in specific places. And he just brings an immense amount of value to the online conference for any chamber that, uh, I was going to say whether if you think you need a new website, but chances are you do because uh, chamber websites are not always uh, working as well as they could. And Deming goes through in a step-by-step -step fashion. It's got multiple steps, and he just walks you through what your chamber's website needs to have to be amazing. So there's that. Uh, his presentation is why members join and sponsor and buy, clarifying your message so your members will listen. And it's uh, primarily through your website, but it's also through social media and your brand and things of that nature. Uh, Deming's uh, presentation is just amazing, uh, really, really impressive. Uh, if you know Deming Bass, please comment and let people know that you, how you know Deming or you've had him out speaking on, on Google or StoryBrand and the various things he does because he's pretty amazing. Uh, next is Toki Mabugunji. Uh, I posted today about Toki in the group, and uh, or no, it was yesterday I posted about her in the group. I met Toki when I was working with chambers and business associations in Africa. They flew me to uh, Zimbabwe uh, specifically to work with their business associations, and, and that was pretty amazing, working in Africa with all these business associations. But they asked me, hey, would you travel this to – three hours to go see this person named Toki Mabugunji that's going to be speaking to female business owners in Zimbabwe. And uh, we'd like you to, you know, check out her presentation and network with her and get to know uh, what they're doing with, because uh, it was a different governmental agency that was working with her. And anyway, I went there. It was kind of uh, this long drive through Zimbabwe to get to where we were going to be. Uh, but we got there, and here the, they've got this full-blown conference for women business owners, and Toki was facilitating it and teaching it, and it was just amazing. Uh, she is a incredibly accomplished attorney, and she owns a, a business that's very successful, and she now is going to be running the uh, Lagos Chamber. Now, Lagos, uh, Zimbabwe, I'm sorry, Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, ha is a population of 21 million people, and Toki is going to be running that as the uh, – uh, as the deputy president now, she'll be president next year. So anyway, she talks about the uh, challenges of a chamber in an emerging economy. And uh, it's amazing on how the African countries, so many African countries, are just going to be the next big thing. And uh, she talks about how Nigeria and Lagos and her chamber are working on international development and trying to find partners for her members and bring in investment into Nigeria. And it's just a huge opportunity for those chambers that have an interest in economic development or international trade or you want to be part of the worldwide chamber family. Uh, she just gives about an hour-long presentation on what are the, the challenges of a chamber in an emerging economy. Uh, huge opportunities for other chambers to partner with her chamber, uh, especially if you have members interested in international trade. Uh, then there's Sherry Pash. Now, Sherry's presenting right now pretty much at the WACE uh, conference on the West Coast. She's presented in Florida recently. She speaks at all sorts of chamber conferences. And uh, her presentation is the R's of membership. And she goes through all the different aspects of uh, chamber membership. And uh, if you're new to the industry, this will get you up to speed super quickly. And if you're a veteran in the industry, what you're going to learn is a lot of things that, you know, just remind you of the, uh, the foundational elements 
of running a membership business or running a chamber of commerce. And uh, it's just a great presentation, and I highly recommend you tune in on that one. Uh, next is Nathan Ali. He runs the Fresno, California Chamber of Commerce. And uh, Nathan's kind of like the guy to go, go to guy in the chamber industry for anything having to do with government affairs or advocacy, uh, because that is uh, what their chamber excels in and what he excels in. And if you ever get see a question in the group that's about, uh, do we, can, you know, can we as a chamber have a pack? And uh, I always just turn to Nathan. Nathan, what's the rules on chambers having a pack? Because there's a lot of misunderstanding with chambers on can they be active politically? Can they give money to candidates? Can they uh, can they endorse a candidate? Can they uh, lose their 501c6 if they get political? And all this kind of stuff. Uh, Nathan has the background and uh, the knowledge. He teaches this topic for WACE's Academy program. And uh, Nathan is just kind of like the go-to guy for politics and government affairs. It doesn't have to be scary, which is his presentation. And he just kind of lays out how to get more active and involved in advocacy for your members and uh, makes it um, – he actually makes it sound pretty simple, and he says that in his presentation is, you know, I've just told you 45 minutes of stuff, and it's really pretty simple. But implementing it can be a little bit more difficult. So if you're just going into it blind, it's not really a good idea. You need training on this. And uh, he generously said, yeah, I'll share my presentation uh, with the whole country. It's their whole world of chambers, so he did. Uh, next is uh, Kristen Brighton. You may not know Kristen Brighton uh, because she's not – a paid chamber person herself, but she did present at ACCE's National Chamber Conference last year because Kristen has a really interesting story. She was approached by a, uh, a leading business person in her community. She lives in Kansas. And uh, the, the, the lady said to Kristen, hey, I, I think you're an up-and-comer business person in this community. How would you like to be on the board of the chamber? We're looking to fill a vacancy. And Kristen was kind of... Uh, Hello, everybody watching. Um, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're watching, put down what chamber you're with, and if you have any questions, things of that nature, I'd love that. Uh, anyway, back to Kristen's story. She was really pretty flattered and pretty floored because she didn't know very much about the chamber other than it was a major, major powerful organization in the community, but she had never been very involved. But she said yes, which people should do, default to yes. And uh, once she got on there, she found out she was the only millennial you know, uh, not millennial, Generation X, any and only young female business owner surrounded by all these established older guys. And uh, it was just she looked around and didn't see anybody else like her. And that was like, wow, this is not this is not good. This is not healthy. And then uh, eventually uh, she took on a leadership role. She kept moving up in the board, uh, eventually being chairman of the board. And uh, she, she's got such a passion for chambers and the good that chambers do that she decided to do a study of the whole industry. She runs a marketing company, so she has a background on doing this kind of thing. Anyway, she reached out to uh, chambers all across the country, gathered all sorts of data together about why people are members or not members and what their demographics look like and the psychographics and all of this. And she generously wrote a big old book uh, on the chamber industry, on why people are members and why some people are not members. And she presented that book at ACCE's conference last year, and I was in the audience, and I was so impressed. I you know, I approached her and I said, how would you like to be on the Chamber Pros online conference? Uh, because I know she's going to run the study again. And she said she would love to. So she did this presentation here with a lot of data and a lot of information. If you're looking to reach uh, Generation X or Generation Z or the millennials or women or people of color or whatever it is, she's got this all broken out into why they join or why they don't join. And she presented that in this uh, conference. So it's incredibly good presentation. Thank you so much, Kristen, for uh, being one of the presenters. Uh, and then our next person is Sherry Taylor. Uh, if you're not familiar with Sherry Taylor, you will be, I almost guarantee you. Uh, she is an up-and-coming like no other. Uh, she runs the Mason Deerfield Chamber in Ohio. It's, their tagline is MADE, M-A-D-E, and you'll see it on all of her social media posts. And if you're not following her on social media, you absolutely should, the Mason Deerfield Chamber and Sherry Taylor. Uh, but she is as good as they get with uh, branding and messaging and marketing and being real and human and likable. And she has done amazing, amazing work with uh, – this is the second chamber she's with. 
but she has presented at uh, WACE's uh, conference, the Western Association of Chamber Execs Conference, and she is um, just one of those people that you know is going to be in this industry a long time as a top, top person, and I asked her if she wouldn't be a, a presenter, uh, and she is doing her presentation on the bl brand blueprint uh, because she has gone through this, and she has done it uh, amazingly well, and she wants to help other chambers do it. So there's that one. Next is uh, Norma Davey, who is monitoring this uh, chat, if you want to reach out and say hello to Norma. But uh, anyway, Norma is the leading person in the chamber industry. I've never seen anybody better in the chamber industry on visual marketing. Uh, she does all the graphic design for our company. Uh, she does uh, all the, the social media. Anytime you see uh, something that took three apps and all sorts of different knowledge on graphic design and visual presentation and what stops people's thumbs and what gets engagement, she does our content marketing bundles. She's created over a thousand images for Chambers. She does our mobile minute video where she teaches Chambers, uh, Chamber members rather, uh, how to use their mobile device for engagement and reach and sales and all sorts of different things. Anyway, she's agreed to come on and do the presentation uh, that she does for state chamber associations, and we did this, uh, parts of this at WACE last year. But this is Facebook and Instagram for chambers, how to get reach and engagement. And uh, it's packed, jam-packed full of examples from chambers that are using Facebook and Instagram to get a lot of reach, a lot of engagement, to build their audience, to create no like, and trust, and to move people along the customer journey so that they become members, they, they attend events, they bring in you more non-dues revenue. Uh, she's the, you know, she consults on this and coaches on this, and this is what she does for our company. Anyway, she's going to do this presentation. Uh, this is probably one of the earlier presentations that we roll out as we roll out one presentation a week of this online conference over the next 16 weeks. We actually go live uh, Monday, February 18th, and right now we're still in the registration phase. Uh, and we're in the early bird rate. It's 60% off. You save 300 bucks if you register during the early bird rate, so you don't want to miss out. And the last presentation is going to be mine. Uh, mine is going to be the Chamber Roadmap to Social Media and Digital Marketing Success. And mine's kind of technical. It's marketing automation. It's using messenger bots. It is moving people through the customer journey past social media to doing digital marketing. And it's an eight-step process, and there's tools now that allow you to automate several of these steps while keeping it real and human, and uh, it is going to help you basically take a giant leap forward to doing digital marketing. Uh, social media is great. You should be doing social media, but social media is mostly reach and engagement. You know, it's, it's, it's reaching your audience. It's critical. You've got to reach your audience, and you have to build – uh, no like and trust, and that's what social media does for you. It's reach and engagement, but it doesn't make the sale. That's where I come in because digital marketing, it's how we earn our living. It's how we've been on the road for five years in the RV is making money through digital marketing, actually making the sale. So I teach you how to use email and messenger to actually get that first sale, how to use autoresponders from your email programs you already invest in to nurture the relationship and then ask for the sale to get the conversion. And then once you get the conversion to uh, move people up with upsells and cross-sells and downsells, I don't want to get too technical. But anyway, that's what my presentation is going to be about in the conference. So that's the 16 presentations. If you have any questions about any of them, uh, post them in the group. I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit and show you the, you know, here's the graphics we've been using. If you want to share this with your colleagues, if you know anybody that uh, needs training on anything associated with the chamber world, and all of these are, you know, forward thinking, forward looking. You, everybody will learn at least one idea because you are truly just one idea away uh, from taking a great leap forward at your chamber. So I'll just finish this off by letting you know that it's totally guaranteed, 30-day unconditional guarantee. If for any reason whatsoever you decide, well, this ain't for me, uh, you know, it's all delivered online. It's available to you 24-7, 365, uh, any device, any mobile device. You can broadcast it into your conference room. You can share it with your board members. You can uh, watch one presentation and discuss it and rewind it and start it and all that kind of stuff. But for, if for any reason whatsoever under the sun you go, well, this just isn't for us, 30-day uh, unconditional guarantee. And some of the questions we've been getting is, uh, you know, is this a one-day event or would we have access for all year or how does this work? 
you will get access for all of 2019. So if you're busy right now in an event, uh, you know, I know how it is. I used to run a chamber. I, I know how busy you can be. Uh, if it, you need to get that behind you before you delve into, you know, anything else, totally understand. The pro, the, all the presentations will be just there waiting for you. We're rolling out one a week so as to not overwhelm you. Uh, we'll have discussions in the Facebook group on what's to, you know, what was shared in each presentation, so you don't want to be left out of those discussions. So that's how that works. Uh, how do others log in? You just present them your, the credentials that you set up, you, your email address and a password, and I can uh, update your password to anything that you want, or you can self-update your password. But you just share that with your teammates or your board, and they can take in these presentations. Uh, let's see, if we sign up, can we access the presentation anytime during the year? Yes. And then um, are the speakers scheduled at different times throughout the year? Yeah, we're rolling out one a week, and then you'll have access at any time to them. Uh, getting that question meant, uh, in several different ways. Some person was worried that they weren't members of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. You don't have to be a member of the U.S. Chamber. You don't have to be a member of any organization to sign up for this. Uh, we've had just regular members sign up. We've had lots of board members sign up, and we've had uh, dozens of chambers, uh, chamber professionals sign up for their whole teams, you know, so, so everybody gets access. Uh, and the dates, again, we're going to release this on February 18th. And uh, if um, anybody has any other questions or they want me to, to, uh, to share, I'd be glad to do it. But there it is again. So register now. Save that uh, 300 bucks by taking advantage of the super early bird rate. And uh, that's it for us. i got to get on the road. We have a, a chamber to go visit. So let me switch back out of this. And, again, this is blue jeans that I'm using. So if you ever decide that you're wanting to... Uh, use some kind of video conferencing services to uh, have your members on or something. Uh, I highly recommend BlueJeans. Works great. Thank you all so very much. Bye-bye.